Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a really cool brush to share with you guys. I have my tea ready. I'm ready to spill all the tea. We're tea spilling. Why do I always like wish that I had some kind of juicy dish to share with you guys? And I really, A, don't play that game. B, I don't have anything to share. My voice is just leaving me at the moment. So I'm gonna be sipping on some chamomile tea throughout this video. You guys, I just got back from Fiji. It was an incredible time, but your girl is tired and spent and my voice is just horrible right now. <laughs> We are testing out something really cool that I actually received in PR before I went to Fiji. And this is the craziest brush I have ever received or seen. You know, I've tried a lot of the Scylla sponges and you know, rotating brush heads, just other crazy ways to apply your foundation. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, a video needs to happen. We need to talk about this because it literally looks like a pyramid or a weird triangle. I don't really understand this. I kind of feel like we're at this point where companies are all trying to out weird one another and everybody keeps bringing out something that is like, oh no, well this is gonna make your foundation just even better. It's gonna get into every little point and crack and I don't, what is this? This is called the 4D HD Kabuki. This is from Sigma, and I definitely have used Sigma brushes in the past, and I have really enjoyed them. I've never had an affiliate code with Sigma. I've never had an affiliate code with any brush company, actually, um, but they did send this to me, which is pretty cool. To be honest, though, I don't know that I'm gonna love this, and just judging it, looking at it, I'm kind of going, um... No, no, because when I do choose to use a brush to put on foundation, I like it to be flat, very densely packed, and really give me good coverage and have that kind of flat top where I can buff things in. So I don't know how having like a little tip, how this is gonna buff it in unless you're laying it down on the different sides, but we definitely are going to get to that and see if this is something really cool and helpful as far as applying product or if it's just all together a dud. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I wanna let you know what I have primed my face with today. You all know the Fiji trip was with Smashbox. That wasn't a sponsored trip whatsoever. Like I'm not paid to come back and tell you guys about products. I actually wanna tip my hat to Smashbox for that. That's why I never do brand trips because I refuse to talk about products unless I really love them and I make that so wildly clear with companies that a lot of times it just ends up being easier for me to not go on a trip um, because I don't like to guarantee really anything which might make me a diva, but it also just means that I genuinely try to keep things really real and I majorly respect Smashbox for not being pushy in any way whatsoever. So um, because of that, with the products that I did try and love, I'm gonna talk about them because I love that they didn't twist my arm too. So in a weird way, it's like I'm giving them more love. So long story short, what I have primed my face with today is the Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a primer and moisturizer, so I skipped out on my moisturizer and used this, and I had been trying it in Fiji, and I love it. And then on my T-zone, where I have more problematic areas for pores, I did put this guy right here, which is a primer in a stick, minimizes any little look of pores or fine lines, and I really love the ease of application with this. It is good. And then I am, just to like, let's just make this like a, a one brand tutorial with trying out a weird brush. Um, I am gonna also use Smashbox foundation just because you guys, for the past week, this is the stuff I've been using and truly loving. And I just wanna see what this brush will do with this foundation. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm using the shade 2.1 and 1.2 mixed. I have a hard time matching my face to any foundation out there. Before I lose my mind, let me just scoot the camera closer so we can get to the actual biz of applying some product. Honest to God, what happened? I'm just taking this out. I'm taking this out. I need to figure out a way to travel and not like ruin my things. Eh, 
Kim's mad, so am I. The other thing that I need to discuss really quickly before we start out is you should generally read the directions on a product that you're gonna try, especially if you are a beauty reviewer and you do it on camera because I received this in PR as mentioned, but it didn't come with any instructions. And I'm really glad that I hopped onto the Nordstrom website because it says that this is a $25 4D HD Kabuki brush which Kabuki does make you think that it's for foundation, but it says that this is a dense, super soft Kabuki that comes to a point to blend out under eye concealer perfectly and will diffuse cover up spots, crevices, scars, the sides of the pyramid shape can be used for larger areas to press setting powder in as well. So this is not intended for foundation, so you know what? We're just gonna do a little fast forward action and I'm gonna put my foundation that I'm enjoying right now on with a beauty blender and we're gonna do a little tart shape tape under the eye with this brush and then we'll play with powder. So we're still gonna use it obviously, but glad I read those directions. Do you know what's weird about this foundation though is that I tried this foundation a long time ago and I liked it, but I didn't love, love, love it. And I wore two different foundations on the island and other influencers, whenever I wore this one, were like, oh my gosh, how do you make your skin look like this? And they didn't say that when I was wearing the other one, so I was like, well, dang. Everybody's complimenting my skin when I'm wearing this one, so that must mean it's good. All right, so I have my foundation on. I'm actually gonna start out by seeing if I can get the tip of this to like, kind of help blend right here. That's my trouble spot. I don't know why, this area of my nose, like, oh, that actually helped quite a bit. Huh. We are gonna take my favorite concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape, and I am going to place this underneath the eye as I normally do. And we'll see if this blends it out better than my Beauty Blender. I almost never use anything other than a Beauty Blender when it comes to concealer. So this just got even more challenging for me to like this because I just never like a brush under my eyes, but we're gonna see what it does. We're just gonna pat all the way up into that inner corner. I'm gonna take a little bit right here on the tip and just go down the bridge of my nose for a little, little highlight action. Hmm, guys, this is not bad. I actually thought I would hate this, but this is not bad. It really gets tucked right up into that inner corner, which I really like. The Beauty Blender will do that too, but this is just even more pointy and then it does get around the nose really nice. And then I also have this kind of ditch right here in my chin and it kind of is getting product right in there. If you have an area that's really hard to get uh, product pressed into, this tip on here being that it has a flattened side is quite nice. I actually wanna play with a little bit of powder with this product, so, and I didn't put that in front of me, haha. <laughs> And we're back. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of my La Mer setting powder. I'm just gonna go in here and see if I can bake using this brush. I'm really shocked right now because I'm liking this. It's 25 bucks. I kind of thought this was gonna be a disaster, but I think my initial impression was that it was for foundation. And now that I'm using it for concealer and powder, I am kind of freaking loving it. You have a new home with me. I like you. I'm so pleasantly surprised. All right, I'm gonna fix the rest of my face and I will be right back. My under eye area is looking so nice, I kind of can't believe it. So yes, this tool from Sigma, the 4D HD brush is Tati approved. And I'm gonna keep it right here on my vanity. I really love packing on powder with this tool. It just has such a nice tip. And then that flat brush side just kind of I don't know, it feels like it flattens everything out, like I'm like ironing my under eye. It's just so cool, I really love it. I also can see that if you like baking in this area, which I don't do that all the time, but sometimes, you know, um, this could be very useful for that. And then the tip with liquids is good to get into all here face cracks. All right, um, we're not gonna stay on that subject any longer than we need to, but this brush surprised me, I like it. Didn't think we'd be friends the way we are, but I do like this brush, 25 bucks. Sigma, you have impressed me with your cool 40 HD technology and I'm a fan. So 
there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tomorrow come back because I am testing out from morning to night, full wear time, full check-ins on a new $250 foundation. I know that price kind of makes all of us wanna dry heave a little bit, but I am here to investigate and let you guys know what the deal is with this new pricey foundation that recently launched. So come back for that. And I hope to see you then. Until next time, I love you guys and thanks so much for hanging out with me. Mwah.